Greetings and welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Catherine Sky, and we made last time some pear jam and hopefully that is going to excite our people enough that they start buying it. So let's see if they are actually getting some pear jam here. Let's see. So far, these people are only getting bread. Now, I believe that all it has to be is within this range, but I don't know. It does show that the houses are lighting up whenever um, I mouse over it. So let's see if they're getting some of this stuff here. Let's see. Basic food. They are getting bread. Is that, does it count as basic food? Maybe not. Oh, it counts as gourmet food. Hooray. So they are getting the pear jam. So this just shows it does not have to be within that circle in order for the houses to get benefit from it. Now, soon we're going to have to have um, some different strategies because eventually we're going to run out of uh, we're going to run out of capacity for these houses as in we're going to have to make more than one pear jam per second and we might have those issues soon-ish we have a lot of houses here that are let's see those are three and four we're not going to count this top row because we just put those on in the last episode but um these other ones we're gonna have to figure out how many is needed so if we look at the gourmet food here these take 90 seconds to um to work so if we're making one per second that means we can feed 90 houses with that uh with the regular food let's see this stuff is 45 seconds so tr technically if we're making one per second uh we can make uh we can have 45 houses now i don't know if that goes up if we have more i don't know if we can have more people per house but we'll have to see we're just we're kind of experiencing all the things right now but if we notice some happiness begin to drop then that's where we really need to take action so let's look at the conveyor belt making system right now i would really like to make um we want to make some cloth conveyor belts and they need regular conveyor belts to function so those need cloth and we're gonna have to work this out i think the easiest let's figure this out let's see if we look at wooden wheels they take two planks wooden conveyor belts take two planks and two logs to make so if we do wheels plus fabric that's actually better than using the regular wood conveyor belts unless we ship in the stuff we already have and add cloth to it and call that good. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So what I want to do is I want to revamp this system here um, and see if we can get some stuff going on with that. We might move all of this. I'm not sure what we want to do here actually with this stuff. Uh, we're, we have a ton of planks in the town center. I'm kind of thinking of doing something a little bit different here. We want to make a farm maybe for this area. I'm thinking we can put, maybe we put the road down one square and put the farm up there. I know that sounds very strange, but I think it's going to work a little bit better. Uh, get a farm, like put that one here. And it does have, well, let's do it maybe there. Actually, we can do it right here. We can do it right there. Um... And then maybe we're going to move these buildings. Maybe what we want to do instead is just have a dedicated plank maker for the town center and then completely move this workshop and have other things happen here. Um, yeah, I think we can do that. We can do that. This is our... Oh, how do we want to do this, though? I think the problem right now... Okay, so what I want to do is this. What we're going to do... We're not going to make conveyor belts. We're instead going to make the cloth conveyor. Oh, well, let's see if we can actually make them. Hold on a second. Oh, whoops. This confuses the heck out of me, by the way. If you have a thing, you can press R to rotate it instead of R to be researching. That's like, why? Why do we do this? Hello? Okay, so we need research cloth conveyor belt, but we cannot research this. And I have no idea what's required it. Okay, intermediate logistics. Interestingly, you can't, you, you have to click on the lock rather than just the conveyor information. Um, I didn't know that that was a separate mouse over. So I feel like that could be included in this one window instead of having two separate windows. Let's click on lo intermediate logistics. Okay. 
Okay, so here's our logistic blocks. We have all kinds of stuff. We've got grabbers, we've got pushers, we have uh, splitters and all kinds of stuff. So there we go. Um, fluid pipes. Uh, I want to take cloth conveyor belts and then we're going to get fluid pipes as well because I want to try those things out. So what I want to do here is let's get these cloth conveyor belts working. We're going to use this recipe first. And we need to find a way to get, um, so we're going to take a conveyor belt out and take it in here. So this grabber is going to be grabbing all of our uh, wood conveyor belts. Okay, this grabber, no, hello, no, 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 do not. Okay, this one is going to be taking our cloth conveyor belts. So we're taking the wooden ones and we're upgrading them with cloth. That is the idea that we're working on here. Um, this thing we're going to get, we need a workshop. Wait, does this workshop do, no, we need a, uh, uh, huh? hello? Can this make cloth? Of course it can make cloth. Why didn't I think of that? Yay. So we're going to have it do both. I believe they can work on both simultaneously, but I don't actually know. Um, I'm still a tiny bit clueless on that. I, I'm like, huh, do they? I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure. So let's do this. I'm going to remove that grabber. Delete. Okay. And we're going to get this stuff. So we're going to start off above the ground. So we need to go here. Let's have this go there. It doesn't really matter, right? They're not taking anything from the entrance here. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to do that. Okay, let's... Oh god, there's a little bend in our, our fun times here. A bend in our fun times. <laughs> Uh, there's a reason why they say KOS comes up with the best phrases. That's why you're here. The KOSisms. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, let's go back here and do this thing. Yeah. Okay. And X this. Shoot. And we're just going to just do this manually. I think it's easier. Yeah, that's so weird that it does that. I don't get that. I guess we just do this and then down... Can we do that? No, no, it does not. Okay. You know, thingy, I didn't want you to do that. I wish I could control Z and undo, but you can't. Um, we're going to do something different there instead. Uh, that was a little bit not the UI that I wanted. Oh, no, oh, no. And it deletes all the wrong parts, of course, of course. All right. We fixed a ting again. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so... Yo, this I want, this I want there. Okay, good. Now this, I'm just going to be a bit sloppy here and we don't care because it doesn't matter. And we're going to let that cotton roll its way down the chute. I like this idea of cotton balls rolling down the chute. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right. So why? Hello? Hello? Why cotton? Why you not take? Now this is confusing to me. Why is this not taking the cotton balls in? I don't know. Um, uh, er, okay, let's try something different. Let's try a conveyor belt. It shouldn't need a conveyor belt, but I don't want this grabber there either. They are trying to go inside, but it's not working. It does need cotton, right? Did I choose the wrong one? I might have chosen the wrong recipe. Oh, I did. I chose the wool one instead of cotton. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to take off this uh, conveyor belt because it's slower than the chutes. So we're just going to take the chute there. There we go. Okay, perfect. So that's going to help us definitely get these conveyor belts online here and working. Okay, so we get our first conveyor belts there. I think I want to slow down this plank production. Let's slow this down to one worker. And that way it'll produce far less planks. Uh, alternatively, what I could do is have a direct plank insertion there as well. 
we have done this thing correctly by splitting off so that it does take some traffic off of this thing uh, before adding more. So that's a good thing. So let's see here. I want to add more workers here, I think. Definitely want to do this because we should have plenty of materials. Now it is one cloth to one conveyor belt, so that's going to be working very nicely. I'm going to put in here uh, the cloth conveyor belt so we can see how many we have. And I also want to keep the wood conveyor belt up here just because we want to see how many that we need to get rid of. All right, the upgrade here is nice and ready. So we're going to go ahead and click this. I'm not sure what this actually does for us. I have no idea. I think it just upgrades the area of influence of the town center. Um, but otherwise, I kind of want to upgrade how many houses I have. And I don't really care so much about that part of it. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff going on. We've got our cloth conveyor belts happening. This is kind of great. And what we can do is upgrade some of the conveyor belts. Now let's see if we can actually do that easily or not. I'm going to take the wood conveyor belts off of here, off the main menu, and add the cloth ones instead. So let's see. If we want to look at paths, I like that path kind of thing. That makes sense. So we'll add this here. You have to click on the name. You can't click on the icon. You can't do that. Um, you have to click on the name. I wish you could click on the icon. That was my first instinct of what to do there. Uh, let's plus, press F3. And we have cloth conveyor belts here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the wooden ones from there because we really don't need them any longer. And instead, I think I want to put in... Hmm. There's a lot of stuff I do want to put in. Blockers, filters, one ways. Maybe what I want to do is put in these guys on the first page instead of anything else. So let's do that. Let's take off a lot of the things we don't need, like a well. We don't need that. Let's see. I think the footpath is probably deprecated by now. I, well, technically. Um, yeah. All right. Let's put in... What do we need here? I want to have... The first thing I want to have here is... It's logic blocks. We want to, we're using the splitters and the grabbers most. Now, so far I haven't used a crate. I think that's for storing stuff. I don't think we actually need it right now. Let's change this. Can we easily change this to cloth conveyor belts? Yeah, you bet. Yo, thank you UI. Love when UIs are great like this. Oh, this is fabulous. Look at that. Cool. The graphics are a tiny bit distracting, but it's okay. It runs faster. We like this. It's good. Very good. So is this fast enough to keep up with the production? Yes, it sure is. It sure is. Okay, we have tons of cotton. Uh, we might even need to upgrade the cotton a tiny bit. Let's do two cotton. And let's see. This is doing uh, ooh, four more. I don't know. We're getting, we're getting cotton. It, it'll be fine. Well, if it, if it goes down, we'll, we'll find out. All right. Is there anything else that needs a speed upgrade right now? I think it's okay. This seems to be okay. This is okay. Do we know how fast these things are? These conveyor belts? Does it say? Let's find out. Cloth conveyor belt. Doesn't say. Why is there no throughput information? Help! Oh my god. Where is the information? Oh no. We need to know how many items per second. This is a this is an oversight that I hope will be corrected immediately because we have the exact information, I hope, on here. How many per second we can do. But we don't have any information on how fast the the pathways are. This is very sad. We need this information. We absolutely need this information. This is an emergency. An emergency please we need to know okay we have metallurgy available to us basic medicine and a laboratory so that is let's see unlocks industrial knowledge tomes and natural knowledge tomes i also have no idea what those are i think they might be research oh they are research okay they are research that we can use probably to research very specific topics um they do give us more research points than other stuff but so far, I don't know how to make any of the other research tomes yet. Enchanted books, regular books. 
Um, and those can actually help us with throughput on stuff. So let's see if we can make any of those things yet. Is there anything that looks like it might make a book? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Forester farm, kitchen, well, crate, barn, nope. Nothing that looks like it could make a book. Mage tower, laboratory, maybe. Wait, didn't we get the laboratory already unlocked? Medicine hut also unlocked? Hello? Oh, maybe we just unlocked the ability to unlock. That could be. Uh, all right, so general store, tavern school. Maybe it's made in... Uh, kitchen? No, that can't be. Let's look in the workshop. Maybe it's in here. Can they... Oh, they can make books. Oh my god, I forgot about making books. Okay, so four pages with two cloth becomes one book. So that means that instead of ten pages... Because uh, one book is worth 10 research. So we can actually double up as long as we're making enough cloth. So I feel like this needs an oversight here. We definitely need to fix this. What we can do is be extremely sneaky here. And we can, we can start some beautiful spaghetti. Now, let's see. This is a lumber mill, which is making the paper. So we need a secondary thingy here okay this this is complicated i'm thinking i'm thinking okay so we're gonna pause this and we're gonna put this thing we're gonna move this we're gonna move it here yes maybe yes maybe okay so huh uh, can I delete that? I really want to move this tree. I'm going to delete the tree. This is, this is heresy, but I have to move that tree. Let's move this. I want to move this forestry thingy over here. Okay, and I want to move this one over as well. We're going to move this one there. That way we can get this shoot happening there and have a three-way design that way. Okay, perfect. So now... We have this happening. We have a lumber mill making paper. We need to have a workshop making, using the paper plus fabric to make a book. Now we need to do two things. We need to have this uh, well moved. Now let's see if the person can actually get here. I don't know if they can walk over stuff like this. Oh, it doesn't matter. They can walk all the way around and use the well on this side. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and also delete this thing here. And we're going to change this grabber to take books instead. Yes, a regular book. Yay. Mm. And we're going to get a workshop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to get the workshop. This thing is going to get stuff. Now, the stuff it's going to get is it's going to get cloth or it's going to get um, cotton. And then we're going to make books. So books is paper plus fabric. So it's going to make its own fabric and it's going to make its own books. So that means we need a conveyor belt from here to there. So let's do that. Let's just add this clonk clonk and we need to have our arch arch and conveyor belt conveyor belt yo boom okay paper done now then the other thing we need is to have this shoot of cotton going there as well so we want to have that happen so let's take this up here and there and build the shoot nigh do not there we go, like this. Now then, the other thing we do is this. Yay, oh, that's perfection. Now then, we do our splitter and life will be better. Hooray, look at this. Look at this, oh, is this not glorious spaghetti? Have you never seen such gloriousness before in your life? <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, so now let's find out what we have here. This guy is making two, two pages, no, two times this, I guess, so four per second. This is needing four per one book. So that's perfect. This is actually a perfect ratio, I think, right now, except for the cotton. So I think we're going to put in two, 
two times the cloth. Yeah, we definitely need two times the cloth. So the worker on the book doesn't really matter very much. I think we're, we're pretty good with this. Okay, life is now pretty much better. Life is good here. Now then, we're looking at happiness. Now we're looking at metal rails and iron wheels. Well then, um, we need to figure out the mining for that in that case. Let's look at our research and see what we have available. We have civics level one. So we get capacity for town center plus one and the capacity for house plus two. That's quite nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and click that. Sure. Sure. Let's do that. So we can have two more houses. Civics level two will give us four houses. Let's click that. Ooh, that's 1k uh, and 500 points. Sure, we'll take it anyway, though. Now we can get, uh, we need to, we really want to get mining. How do we get this? This is metallurgy. All right, so let's take that metallurgy. So now we got a forge, we have a silo and a reinforced plank. Now we get wooden axes. Okay, town specialty, forestry, industry. Oh, we haven't chosen a town specialty either. We need to do that. Metal railways, mining, machinery. Uh, these are all new researches available. Caravan, I don't know what that does. I expect it's kind of a bigger wagon. Um, a forge, uh, let's see, silo. Locally stores a single type of item. Okay, that's a really good kind of like a buffer thing, as I recall. Um, I don't know if it's still a good buffer thing. I have no idea. So let's see, let's do a specialty if we can. So commerce... This doubles the speed that items are consumed by houses, allows for much more rapid coin earnings. I guess we'll take it uh, since we are producing enough stuff. So that's just fine. All right, looking into research again, uh, we can get, hmm, I wanna get mining. I really wanna get a mine. Oh, except we don't have enough of this. No, we need industrial research thingy majingies. So that I think is at the laboratory. All right, let's take the uh, oxa. No, eh. all right, animal pastures. Hey, right, let's do that. Now we do have something to do with animal pastures. We're gonna wait till we get a few more books and things. That is obviously a necessity here. It looks like we're out of cotton, so we need to have more workers on the cotton side of things because we're feeding two different. Um, areas okay so that's much better look at that flow of cotton that's pretty good oh no the cotton has dried up so we need to have either more bushes or more uh more workers i guess we answered one question didn't we let me get so farm tiles require fertilizer i feel like we need some of this fertilizer let's get some cotton also we have tons of coins so we can plant more cotton in range of this building so that they can produce more. Oh, whoops, I can also plant a little bit more around here. Let's get all of this in here, mm, up in here, let's go. And I feel like I need some more pear trees. This, this feels like we're out of pears. So I wanna plant some pear trees. There we go, let's just add these because I guess that's where we're definitely out of pears. And especially since we need four pear trees per uh, per item, per whatever. Oh, oh wow, I've run out of coins. Looks like we can have multiple town centers. That can be handy. Um, what I kind of want to do now is build upward. That uh, Or another thing we can do is build a little bit sideways and then upward. However, I think what we can do is build some... Uh, we can build some platforms on top of the houses, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but maybe, maybe. Let's see what we can do here. Can I build? I've really forgotten how to do this. So there might be a trick to this. We might have to move stuff upward and, and more upward to build like other levels. Um, all right, so what we need to do is build up to the point where we can, oh, they grow taller, don't they? Don't they? Huh, that's cool. Um, hmm. I wonder how tall they get, actually. This may be a limiting factor here. Let's see, can I do this and add thingies above that? That seems really tall. I don't know if they need to be that tall or what. Uh, all right, so I guess the the idea here 
would be to build a whole bunch of these guys. Let's see, it's uh, several. Let's build all the way to the end here. Uh, I don't know if that's too tall. That's too tall, I think. Let's see if that is the correct height. So let's take a road all the way across. Okay, that's a little bit too high, as we can see. Let's take that off. Take the last level off there, or last two levels, so we can build the archy bit on top. And take the road this away. There we go. Okay, so we have this. And I think what we can do is probably build one over here as well and kind of go across these houses. Let's see about this. Oh, and I didn't do this correctly either. Darn it. Okay, uh, let's do this again. I And you know what? Every time I do it, I keep forgetting how to do it. How many to place. Okay, let's see if that's enough. That is correct there. Is this correct here? Let's build us a this. Yay. All right. That's the wrong thing. I want it to look nice, so I want to use these kind of things. And again, I forgot to count. So one, two, three, four, five. That might be enough. Let's check. All right. So road. Yep. Five is... is not the right height. It is the wrong height. Six. Okay, let's delete all this. Let's start from scratch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That seems too high. No! Oh no! What happened? Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting! Yeah! I, okay. Eh? No? Oh my god. I must have miscounted or something. I don't know what happened there. Something strange happened there. So this is going to be hopefully the quick and dirty way to do this. Yay. So if we cover this center portion, my idea is that we can, I don't know if we can build on top of roads or if we can just like leave them out. We'll see. But I think what we can do is build houses on top of here, maybe. Okay, we cannot build on top of roads. So let's see if we can get rid of the road part. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, that's nice. It's not too difficult to do that. Except where you mess up. Oh, and it only removes one layer. So if I go over the road again, it doesn't seem to be angry with me. Which is good. Oh, here we go. So they like to live on glass floors. We've discovered this. That's nice. Good to know. Good to know. And then these guys, they do have to be connected. Because if you notice, like if you look at that house, it doesn't show the happiness factor at all. So it has to be connected by a road. So we're going to make a thing here to make that work. Um, Here, maybe? No. We want to do with the current height... There we go. That's what we want. So this, 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 and that. I think we can probably do a thing down. Oh, that was not what we wanted to do. <laughs> you know, it gets people down faster. <laughs> there is something to be said for this manner of travel. <laughs> Yeah, all right. That was funny. I like this, though. I think we should have travelators available for all of our people. I think that this is definitely something we need. Huh? So one thing that I, I, I want to see happen is the ability to, like, make this road stone without having weirdness happen. Because right now it does weird. Like, it doesn't connect. You have to do one tile at a time there. I think, oh, and it doesn't even do it. It's doing like multiple layers, which I wonder, is there a layer view thing? Has, has that been added? Kind of like Timberborn. I would love to see that. Urgh. Like a layer view thingy thing. Oh, I have I've deleted the supports. That's not what I wanted to do at all. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. It put the things back. Oh, no, 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 no. No. 
I didn't want to do that. No, no game. No. I think it's getting confused because it sees me looking at those layers and it's like, you know, no, you're trying to, you're trying to edit the columns and that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay. That's not what I want to do either. Game. Stop it. Stop this madness. No. Help. Okay, so I don't want this to look strange, so we're gonna add this. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's good, that's good. All right, it is fine. All the things are just fine. We have now, we've, now, we've done things. <laughs> we have done silly things, crazy things, things. Oh, we have pears at last, hooray. Okay, so we're earning money. We have more money again, this is great. Uh, let's look at other things. That seemed very complicated. Uh, all right, so we needed to look at getting a, let's see. I think it was the inventor's thingy. Oh, we didn't, did we research it yet? No, ah, because we didn't have enough um, research points, but now we do. Let's get the laboratory. We do need to get basic medicine, but we need the natural knowledge tomes. And I have no idea how to get that. Let's get the laboratory that gives us natural and industrial knowledge. Hooray. So now I think that this situation is not going to work anymore because I believe that this is too interlocked to, to deal with. But let's find out. We also need to get a pasture going because I really want to get some farm tiles. Uh, all right, so let's, let's look at this laboratory and see what that's going to be like. Let's look at that. Let's see. Hello. How you doing? You are doing fine. All right. So we have level one. So we need a book plus herbs harvested from herbs, right? So we have to build a farm specifically for that. We also need iron plates from a forge. The forge gets them from where Two iron and and two fire. Okay, so that's a thing that we need to be aware of. Uh, do we have any iron anywhere? I think not. What is this stuff? These are, oh, these are herbs. Hello, welcome. Welcome herbs. What is this? This is iron. Oh, that's iron. Okay, so we have iron over here. We have, I think this is coal. Yeah, that's coal. We have apple trees there. So what we can do is this school does not go anywhere this this doesn't go into our central hut of happiness town center so what we can do is change or we could make spaghetti that is an alternative <laughs> that is beautiful and lovely and we love it we could do that i'm thinking what we do i i actually think what we need to do probably is have a massive workshop or maybe two workshops one workshop to make actually it doesn't matter if, if the the labor if they can make all the things at once i don't know if they split this i need to ask about that i know a person to ask uh Wally has done extensive series on this um and he would know i think if they split their time between them or if they go faster if they only do one recipe. So that's the question I'm having. So let's do this. We need to do natural and industrial knowledge uh, in this thing. Go ahead and move this thing out here somewhere. So let's see, iron ore is over here. Oh, herb stuff is over there. What we could do is actually, I don't know, can we build underwater? Let's find out. I don't know if we can. Oh yes, we can, boom. We can build some conveyor belts or whatever we choose under there. So I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna move this out here. Now the thing is, oh geez. Okay, so this is our only, here's a forest of, what is this? Oh, carrots. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they look great, I love them. All right, so we can use this forest over here. I think I need to actually move the entire uh, situation over there. But for now, let's just leave it where it is because we have just enough time to do like one project. And I'm thinking that maybe we do the, um, let's look at our research. Did we get, no, we didn't. Uh, we need to get our, uh, we need to get a pasture going. And the pasture is an animal thingy thing. 
that we can do some stuff. We can do uh, various things here. We can make eggs, chickens, fertilizer, which would be lovely. We can make wool and leather. Now leather has a byproduct of fertilizer, which is kind of great. So if we go to our, to our um, tailor, we can make the cloak, which requires fabric and leather. Or we can make a warm coat, which is, oh, it's actually wool and uh, leather and shirts. Okay, so we can't use cotton for that. So if we want to make a warm coat, we're going to need two pastures, one of them making leather and one of them making, uh, one making leather, one making wool. So we'd have to do this. Oh, we can do two, both of them. Hey, we can do that. All right, animal feed is also made in a food mill. So do we have any, oh, here we can do this. We can have this pasture. Let's move it where it's more relevant. Let's move that out here. All right, and then we need a farm. So farmy farm is gonna go over here. Let's get them like in, in the vicinity of the crops. Let's do, so we don't wanna run over the crops. Let's do something like that. So this is gonna go to a food mill which is, let's go on B, food mill, food mill B here. Okay, and this is gonna make food. Select recipe, we wanna make wheat into animal feed. There we go. You can also make carrots and potatoes into animal feed as well. So we can do a shoot between these two. Let's get our grabber. Oh, we don't have a grabber, no. I guess we do. We haven't done pickup item. Arr. Wooden rails. I never use the wooden scaffold block, so maybe I take those off and put a grabber on there. Let's see, logistic blocks. Let's do that. Let's put a grabber. Oh, no, 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 no. Right there. Thank you. Okay, so I'm trying to like craft one of these so it's like useful for me. Let's do this. Okay, good. So that goes there. Right, now pasture. We're gonna have wool and leather being made here. And we need to have a farm or a, um, a farm, a water farm, water mine, <clears throat> for those who are familiar with uh, the way I speak, a <laughs> water mill mine. Oh, no. Why does this not work? Oh, that's annoying. So I guess if you replace things in spots, you don't get the benefit of having fancy blocks underneath it. Huh? All right. No can only be oh can only be placed on terrain okay so that was the issue it wasn't the weird terrain it was just can only be placed on terrain i guess the animals don't like to walk on these blocks and i i i kind of get that you know let's see if we can use a shoot for this i'm not sure if we can or not yeah we can oh wow it can be used so i guess some intermediates can be placed on a shoot so that's cool nice so i guess we get a well here so let's go and find ourselves a well. Uh, there we go. So let's put this right here. And we'll have a person going from the well to over here. There we go. So we have actually removed most of the people from our thing. I think, oh geez, this person, no. Oh man, no. I have 421 wheels in here now. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, drop off. Oh no. And people, meanwhile, have not been getting their fair share of wheels. This is quite sad. We, we definitely lament this situation. Uh, all right, so let's put this into the hardware store here. All right, wheels go there. Is this getting anything? Yeah, I guess it's getting shirts. No filters, so I guess it's just taking everything. That works. Okay. Oh dear, the oh dear is real. Uh, all right, so it's fine. It's just fine. All right, we're gonna get some wool and fertilizer and leather. So what I kind of want to do here is we need to have, uh, we probably need to have a quick conveyor belt that takes the wool and leather here. I wonder if you can get a shoot for this. Let's try. Let's see, can we do a shoot there, there, and there? Can we do wool? Can we do leather? 
can we do? I don't know what those things mean, fertilizer. So let's see, does it work on any of them? Okay, fertilizer works, these need, so wool and leather, they're not compatible. Okay, so it does tell you explicitly, that's great, that's great. So what I wanna do, oh geez, what do we do here? Um, I think maybe we put the fertilizer into here. I don't, you know what one thing I do wonder, can we put, what does a barn do? Let's find out what these things do. So buildings, I wanna look at buildings and we wanna see uh, a crate. Provides small storage space to store items, does not auto output to shoots. Okay, so we don't want that at all. That's useless to us. Shared storage that players can use when placing workers and buildings. So a barn may be what we need for the fertilizer. So let's try using a barn. So we're gonna press X and delete all of this stuff. Let's build a barn. Barn. Okay, let's do that. And let's do the shoot here. There. And output a fertilizer. And I wanna see if that enables us to do farm tiles. So let's see. This thing has up to 50 fertilizers or up to maybe 200. Let's see, can we build farming? Uh, farm tiles, yes. Oh, we can, oh, hooray. This hooray is big hooray. We like the big hooray. Now these guys, I think, let's see what happens if we put a farm tile here. So farm tile, we has water. Uh, okay, I don't know what happens if you have a farm tile. Looks like you can output fertilizer to the farms and they will use it. So farm tile, it looks like what? So the cotton, so this apparently doesn't get water unless it's on a farm tile. Interesting. Okay, so yield plus up 50. Okay, here it tells us explicitly, I like this. So terrain grass, farm tile plus 50%. Water plus a hundred percent, and water is going to give another fifty percent. So affinity times four. Now this has been going so long, we don't actually need that. But what I want to do though is we want to supply fertilizer. Oh no, a uh, farm tile. Oh, you can supply fertilizer. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so we have farm tiles now on all of these things, so they should grow really well. Now, if we have too much fertilizer, I guess that's when we just need to manually supply fertilizer. I'm not quite sure on that. So let's see, this building, if we select a recipe, I wanna do the warm coat. Um, and so this needs two wool and one leather. I don't know what our uh, thingy is on this. We get one, oh, okay, so this is gonna be a bit slower. I guess we need to have two workers on this instead. So we get two wool and two leather. Now, I don't know how that's gonna work out. I guess it's just gonna stop for a bit. So this grabber, I want to change this to be doing the warm coats only. I wanna keep those shirts internally because they need to be used for the making of the warm coats right there. So let's see, let's make sure that we can get all of that stuff. Now, they have to be on two separate lines, alas. They have to definitely be yeah, uh, I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but we're gonna try. So I guess what we do here is we make, we could do a double height thing. Yeah, maybe we do that. Let's, we need to do two different conveyor belts, I think. Alternatively, we could have a tiny minecart run. That would work as well, but we're not in a good position for well, technically, if we want to be technical, let's be technical. Let's do that. Let's do the technical parts. Let's do a turn here, turn there, and go this way. All right, hooray, and up. And this one's gonna go this way, and go that way, hooray. Okay, so this is our situation that we have now we can let's go around and grab some materials from there if we want and go here and up again 
actually go here like this eh. behave thing okay let's take our people out of the road so I don't think they can get killed but yeah anyway so what I want to do is get rid of some of these unloaders and loaders so I want to take off the loading for here because we don't have it connected to any farms I think actually it could be connected to here I'm going to take off this loader we're going to take off these unloaders because I definitely don't want to do this this is going to be a simple thing to get the um oh whoops that's not right hello yeah no 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 do not okay I'm going to X this piece. I'm just going to put this in properly. Hello. Eh, good. Okay, now we look at our thingy majingy. So rail unloader here. Good. We could put an unloading here for fertilizer, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to save those fertilizers to make more farm tiles because I didn't realize you had to have the farm tiles unless, uh, uh, I mean, if you wanted to use water. So we have like water happening in some of the farms like this one, but they can't actually use it because they don't have any farm tiles. So I want to get rid of some of some things. Oh, wood conveyor belts are done. Oh, that's good to notice. All right, we need to fix that in the next episode, but let's see, we'll have the rate, um, this thing load our carts. Now let's see what we need for a mine cart. I don't actually know if we have any yet. Uh, rail cars, wooden mine cart. Oh, we have some. So they do need wooden wheels, which have plenty of. Let's, we need to make two of these, right? And the cool thing is what we do is item filters. We're going to have one take wool. Hello? Where's the wool? Really? Wool. No. Why? Leather? Uh, no. Really, game? No. Why can't I take stuff in here? This is nuts. No. I thought I had this great plan. Really? Hmm. <sighs> Let's sigh. That's frustrating. Okay, apparently you can't do all the things. That's quite sad. I, I just like, huh? Why can't we transport wool? This is this is a thing. You can transport wool on lines. All right. I guess not. Not today. All right, let's X all this stuff out. That's, that's very sad. That's really like disappointing because I was going to use this and it was going to be fun and all the things. Mm. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, in this, instead, what we're going to use is conveyor belts, and that'll be fine too. Okay, there we go. And this is going to be... I'm going to have one conveyor belt go this way. I'll leave some space in case we want to do a conveyor on uh, a minecart later. Now this one is going to go up two heights. Or actually, we can delete this part of it. And just go up here let's see we want to go up there so that way we can get stuff going so now we just do a thing on every uh area we need to cover hmm I think this has to be that height and then down one and then two one 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 and then we put our scaffold arches on top so this should work quite nicely i think it's should work let's 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 try this and hope it works let's just do that okay let's do one square at a time okay there we go that works that works the AI works mostly, but just keep an eye on it so it doesn't do something you don't want it to do. Okay, very good. And then we change the end blocks just to make sure it's going where we want it to. Okay, so the bottom, let's do leather on the bottom. Uh, because leather is the one that it makes less of. Um, actually, no, 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 no. Leather should be on the top, I guess. 
maybe I don't know here let's put wool there and we'll put leather here man I still can't believe like why can you not have these things there it doesn't even make sense uh, okay so we're gonna take these we're gonna get our inputs going and the hooray will be real Hey, see, look at this. This is exciting. Multi-layer conveyor belts. Does it get better than that? I don't think so. This is great. All right, so what do we have? We have plenty of animal feed. We have water. It does look like maybe, do we, oh, we need more animal feed, I think. So let's put another person on this. Let's put these people. All right, so this is making one grain or two per second. So this needs two grain to make one feed. So we need to have two here and one here. And this needs what? How many feed? So we need six per second here if we want to get this made. So let's see. This needs to be high. Oh, geez. Let's go for three. So that means six on the grain side per second. All right. That's going to be a lot of grain. And we may need to have some farm tiles there. But at least we are now getting some fertilizer, I hope. Yep, we have a little bit. And that means we can make some farm tiles to get stuff going with this. So what's going on here? Why are we not making stuff? It's just slow. Upgrade pasture. What does this do? Does it tell us? Hello? Okay, work units 0.5 per second. Okay, so that means we probably need less workers. So let's do this and we'll take down the amount of workers to two per second. Cool, that works very nicely. Of course, now we can't really supply it very well. So yeah, it'll be fine though. I need to figure out the pipes and how that interconnects. And if we can use wells with pipes, we'll have to see. Uh, it's a really interesting idea and um, I'm really looking forward to all of this. It's kind of cool. So what's going on over here? What are we missing? Are we just full on this? Oh, we don't have enough workers, I think. There we go. I think we just need more workers to be doing stuff. And then we'll we'll get everything going. All right, so I think that this is a good time to stop for this episode. In the next one, I want to look at making those special books. We get the higher or different level techs. Uh, it's going pretty excitingly. I'm really really thrilled about this. Also, we need to look into putting mines out here, but that, of course that requires the mining tech knowledge. Um, but I'm really happy with how things are going here. We do have this stuff is getting going, but yeah, we need to solve the water problem. That is uh, of grave importance to us. So anyway, we're going to leave it at that for now. But thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.